How did Bob Saget die? It's a question millions of his fans around the world have right now. And what's redacted from this incident report from the Orange County Sheriff's Office? We're going to go into this, and I'm going to play for you the 911 call in the investigation into the death of Bob Saget. Let me know what you think may have happened here in the comments below. Now, how do I know this is an incident report from the Orange County Sheriff's Office? One, it says so, and two, they emailed it to me. They sent it directly to me. So this is legit, and nobody else has this out there. They simply have their write-up about the report. So we're gonna go into this together and see the source material and see what we can figure out. As you can see, this is a death investigation, and it lists the Ritz-Carlton, that's the hotel where Bob Saget was saying, then Kelly Rizzo, which is his wife, his widow now, and then Jody Lee Harrison, which is a man, and Jody Lee Harrison is also somebody who is an employee of the hotel. So they go through this and say the deceased was transported and recovered by medical examiners to the medical examiner's office. And they said uh, that Kelly Rizzo, his wife, was the one that was notified as the next of kin after the resort management consulted with their legal team. Here's the rundown from the officer that showed up on the scene. On January 9th, Deputy Adrian Gonzalez responded to the Ritz Carlton, they say located at 4012 Central Florida Parkway, Orlando, in reference to a man-down call. I was provided information from dispatch that a male was found unresponsive and not breathing. They say uh, Orange County Fire Rescue was already on the scene and pronounced the male deceased shortly after my arrival. My, in uh, my investigation revealed the following. Upon my arrival, OCFR advised the male, later identified as Robert Saget or Bob Saget, was declared deceased at 4.18 p.m. Crime scene tape was placed and a crime scene contamination log was started. My BWC was activated. That is, I believe, a body cam. So that means there's body cam footage out there of inside this hotel room and very likely of Bob Saget dead on the bed in this hotel room. Let's hope that that doesn't make its way out right now. Uh, they said it was activated while I checked the immediate area for signs of foul play. It should be noted none were found. No signs of foul play. They're very, very clear about there being no signs of foul play. It continues. The room itself was orderly with items owned by Mr. Saget on the nightstand, television stand, closet, and bathroom. Mr. Saget was found in a supine position on his bed. And just so you know, that means he was on his back. And they say his left arm was across his chest and his right arm was alongside his body. So that's how he was laying on his back on the bed. No signs of trauma were seen. Mr. Saget was due to check out from room 962 this date and his family was unable to get a hold of him. So this is the incident report continuing here. And note that there is some of this that's redacted. Why is this redacted? What was this portion right here this uh, sentence and a half or so, and these other two sentences that they blacked out. Family members contacted Ritz Security, they say, Ritz Carlton Security, who sent Jody Lee Harrison, a member of the security team, to check on his well being. Mr. Harrison received no response after knocking several times and attempted to gain entry. Now we don't know. We don't know what this portion of it says. Uh, but then they skipped to him entering the room. Mr. Harrison entered the room and noted all of the lights were off. So this would indicate perhaps that Bob Saget was asleep when whatever happened to him happened to him. He proceeded to the bedroom and located Mr. Saget in his bed. He stated that Mr. Saget was cold to the touch, yellow and clammy as well. This would suggest that he had been dead for some period of time uh, because you wouldn't be cold and clammy if you had just recently died. He checked for breathing at a pulse, but none were detected. It was at this time he had his dispatch call 911. I'm going to play that 911 call for you in just a moment here. Mr. Saget had used his room key to enter the room at 2.17 a.m. on this same day. As previously stated, several attempts were made to open the door after checkout time by hotel security for their check of well-being. Another redacted sentence here. We don't know what that says. Homicide was notified and Corporal Brian Meadows, H011, responded to the scene with the forensics unit. While on the scene, hotel management spoke with Mr. Saget's wife, Kelly Rizzo, over the phone to inform her of his passing. The decision was made after consulting with their legal team. The scene was then turned over to homicide while I maintained the scene security for the duration, says the officer on the scene. So we, we know a couple of things, that Bob Saget was found on his back in this room, that he uh, had all the lights off, that he had his left hand over his chest and his right arm alongside of his body, and that he appeared to have been dead for quite some time. 
We also have something else new, and that is this, the 911 call from the hotel uh, that went into the police operations line to start this case. Here it is. 911, what is the location of your emergency? Uh, good afternoon. I'm calling the... What is the address? The address is... Okay. Okay, and what's going on there? Double. I have an unresponsive guest in a room. My officer is telling me that he that there's no fault and Okay. What room number? Okay. Non-responsive, stop breathing. Um, but response is not breathing and Okay, stand the line for medical one moment. There you have it. That was the 911 call placed in after they discovered what was happening in this hotel room. So now let me know what you think. What's redacted from this incident report? And what do you think actually happened here? Obviously, uh, my thoughts are with his uh, widow and his uh, wife, Kelly Rizzo. That's unfortunate information, and it's got to be absolutely difficult to deal with, uh, more so for her than anybody else. But I'm sure Bob Saget would love to see how his fans are really stepping out and letting themselves uh, be uh, known. And uh, I'm sure he would even like some of the jokes in his passing. That's just the kind of guy he seemed to be. Uh, here it is. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What killed Bob Saget? We're now waiting for the medical examiner's report. And there will be no further updates from the Orange County Sheriff's Office. I'll let you know when there's anything else from the coroner or uh, otherwise. Uh, let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. I do appreciate it, as always. Facebook.com slash The News Junkie. Hit that follow button. YouTube.com slash The News Junkie. Hit subscribe. Thank you for watching. Again, I can't wait to interact with you in the comments. We'll talk to you again real 